Brad's Brat, a really old pattern developed by Enos Brainer uh, over in the Seattle area. A uh, very interesting story that goes with this fly. I can't remember the whole story. I won't try to do it on camera. It is in print in the in the Tribune if you'd like to read that one. Now this wing is, is they tied it originally with bucktail. I won't. I'm going to tie it with uh, with uh, calf tail. And I'm going to first thing I'm going to tie on is white calf tail. And again. I tie my wing in first, and you don't want very much material. If you get too much material in there, because we're going to have a double wing. Uh, by double, I mean it's going to be white and orange. So here's the white. I turn my, my uh, hair stacker over so that the tips are going the direction I want them to go. Just move it up here, lay it down. That way you don't have to try to turn it over and over and over in your fingers. Lay it on her so it's going to turn out to be about the length of the shank of the hook. Tie it down. Now I've left quite a little bit of room right here because as I come forward that's going to want to creep up a little. Now I'm going to take, boy that's a short haired calf tail. I want to take just a little bit. I hate to break into the middle of a tail. I would rather start at the very butt. But this one says short hair, I'll, I'll use this for a smaller fly later. This happens to be a size 4, again, uh, it's a little bit easier to pick up in the camera for it. Uh, I would fish a 4 later in the year when the, the water is quite cold, otherwise I'm going to be fishing smaller in the spring. Now here comes the orange. Now when I fold these wings over, you can see that the white's going to be on top. I'll lay that on there so it's about the same length, or give or take. Need a little bit more. And there's that. Run my tying thread to the rear. Trim off those butts. Now, when I fold this wing over, it's going to be the white on top, the orange underneath. The tail is exactly opposite. The white will be on the bottom and the orange will be on top. Does that make any difference? Don't have a clue. Does it make any difference to the fish? I seriously doubt it. But that's the way the original pattern came out, so I'll stick with it and show you what it is. Get that all stacked down. Again, turn your hair stacker over so the tips are going the direction you want them to go. You don't need that tail real long. I'll get those tied in place, then I'll take a little piece of the orange, get rid of that under fur. There's combs that you can get that will really take that under fur out, but I don't know. I use one on occasion, especially on deer hair, I will use them. Get those all stacked up. And lay this on top of the white. Again, make it about the same length. Tie it down. I'm going to the front. I'm, my butts are still way too long. I'll go ahead and trim off that. Some of them are snuck underneath. And I'll get all those bound down. Now, the rear half of this fly, oh, I want to tie a rib on. Where's my ribbing? Steve, did you steal my ribbing? Again, I'm going to use, this time, it's a fine tinsel, but I'm going to use gold. Gold will be up, not the silver. And get that spun down. And now I want the orange wool yarn. What I've done, I just took a plain old piece of, of orange yarn. They usually come four strand. Uh, I tied, I stripped it out till I'm down to one strand. Uh, that way it gives me a much thinner body. I just like the looks of the thinner body. Again, behind that ribbing. And I do that because many times if you look at a lot of imported flies or a beginner fly tying, 
you will see that the rib is falling off the rear of the, the fly onto the tail. By taking a wrap of body behind that, that will never happen. I'm going to make this about halfway, as near as I can tell. Tie it down. Clip it off. Now red. I've done the same thing with the red. It used to be a four strand yarn. I've taken it down to one. Get that bound down and keep going forward. And you can see by leaving those butts longer and wrapping over the top of them, it gives me a very smooth transition. It gives me a very smooth body. All right. There's the orange and the red. Next will come the ribbing. And I want the gold up, and of course the silver comes up, and not very many wraps, four or five tops, that's all you need. Bind it down, fold it over. Now, the pattern, some pattern books will call for a brown hackle up front and I brought brown and I also brought black. I personally prefer the black so that's what I'll go ahead and tie in. Uh, you tie in whichever color you like best. Wrap and a half to two wraps is all you need for this. Cinch it down. I want to fold that back over and wrap over the top of it and break it off. Fold everything out of the way fold it to the rear and come around. Just build yourself a nice neat little head right here. And you can see the white is going to be on top, the orange on the bottom. I'll put a whip finish on it. And there's a Brad's Brett. Read the article. Uh, it's a very interesting article of how this fly came about. There were speeding tickets involved with it, uh, throwing the fish on a fly shop floor and so on. But read the article, very interesting. There's a Brad's Brat, orange and white bucktail, orange and red body, and black or brown hackle. I used black. Brad's Brat.